Oh, hello again YouTube, we're back. I have acquired the tool for the Mac data recovery a little, quite a bit earlier than I expected. It just arrived. I have it opened up and you see the SSD stick in the bag. Um, the reason that I didn't put the stick in yet is I wanted to shoot this little segment and preface this with don't try this at home, people. Um, if you put the wrong type of mem if you put the wrong type of storage stick in the wrong cradle, you will damage it. Um, I have double and triple checked this to ensure that the cradle is compatible with the stick. Um, most, and the only way you can check it is by knowing exactly what you have. And then even then, you can't go by the connector because it's theoretically possible for the stick to fit, but it be the wrong type of stick for the enclosure. So I wanted to do this little segment and preface this with, don't try this at home. I'm going to come back in just one second, you guys, and we're going to take this from there. See you in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. I have the stick plugged in. Everything went well. The stick mounted within Windows, except it didn't assign a drive letter to it. I suspect that's because this entire stick is encrypted with File Vault. And I will try to film a little bit of what I've done so that I can access File Vault encrypted sticks. Basically, what I had to do, I might have talked about it in the first segment, is I had to make a Catalina virtual machine in VirtualBox so that I could access these File Vault encrypted sticks. Um, it's going to be very difficult for me to run that and film it at the same time due to how difficult it is to use the virtual machine, but I will try to get what I can. See you guys in a second. Okay, YouTube, after dealing with some issues with the virtual machine installation and setup, I'm back. As you can see, I've got the US the PCIe stick from the Mac mounted in the cradle and also an X flat formatted drive, a couple terabytes in size that the data is going to. And inside a virtual machine, I have Catalina running. And it is going to copy the two home directories that this particular owner has over to the little red drive. Um, I do expect that this is going to take a while, probably all night, because getting these things to work in VM is quite a bit slower and getting them to work normally and in fact you're not even supposed to be able to run um, OS X in a VM like this as you can see this is my Windows 10 desktop what we call the host desktop and inside this window it's actually running Catalina and that's what I'm using to get the data off this stick. Um, as it turns out, I was afraid that File Vault might be activated. As it turns out, it was not on this particular stick, but the driver that I have on this computer does not support APFS file systems, so it wouldn't mount the stick in Windows. Hence, the need to use a Catalina VM. I actually had this set up thinking 
I was gonna have to use it for file vault and the story wound up being a little different. Um, I will come back when we're done and we're ready to move the data over to the Windows machine. See you guys all in a second. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, the virtual machine did not work out at all actually. It kept throwing kernel panics and rebooting during the file copy. So I wound up having to get an APFS driver for Windows, which I think might be a little buggy, but it did work and did allow me to transfer all of the data that I wanted to get. So that was a good thing. Uh, I'm not going to bring the other drive over to Windows tonight. I'm going to um, do that tomorrow. And we'll, and we'll catch up with this video again tomorrow morning. But I just wanted to let everybody know what happened with the virtual machine. Um, I'll see you guys in just a second. See you tomorrow morning. Well, everybody, it's actually tomorrow afternoon, and I don't know if you can see, but by the old desktop files icon that's on the machine, I brought the when the this drive over to the machine last night and copied over some of the data. I'm going to finish copying the rest of it over, and then that will be the end of the data recovery portion of this job. I just wanted to finish this video off and let everybody know what happened. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the reason I used this little red portable drive, this drive is formatted with the XFAT file system, which both Windows and Mac can read and write to. Um, some of you may have seen this orange drive right over here. This drive is formatted in NTFS, which Macintoshes cannot write to without modification. And I didn't want to have to keep reformatting it and playing with it all the time for different jobs. So I got this little red drive for Apple work and Apple the Windows data translation that works great. Um, that'll be the end of this video. As always, feel free to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Especially smash those like and subscribe buttons, you guys. If you subscribe, you will be notified of a new video the second it is published. I'll see everyone next time. See you all soon. Bye-bye.